Yeah, hi there. These comments are for a PS. I'm using your um, initials for privacy purposes. And you have completed the free TOEFL speaking practices evaluation. And guess what? I am Michael Buckoff. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. I'm downloading your speaking right now. And I'm going to listen to it. And the first, the first time I listen to it, I'm not going to make any comments. The second time, I will make some comments. Okay, let me see something. Hold on just a quick second. Okay, let me just open it up. Okay, here we go. According to me, studying with a group is more beneficial for an exam. Because when you study with a group of people, they may have all, uh, they all may have some different understanding about one topic. When these uh, topics have been, uh, are discussed, then you, then it leads to a better understanding among all of them. These better understandings help you get more scores. Also, when you are studying, in a, uh, also uh, while studying, if you have any doubt, you can clarify it with your group mate. It can give you a very easy shortcut to solve that. That helps you out. But these benefits cannot be available when you study alone. According to okay, so that took about 42 seconds. So my first impression here, I'm going to put you a little bit below the three area. I'm going to put you at uh, 2.83 out of 4, 22 points out of 30. So there's a few things that you want to work on. Uh, one of them, in the beginning of the response, you start off with this second person singular point of view, this you point of view. Don't do that. Focus. Because this is an independent speaking task, it's better to focus on your own experience. You don't have to directly talk to the audience or instruct them. So use things like, I had this experience when I was in class or with my friend, we. So make it a little more personal. So focus either on the first or the, th or the third person point of view, maybe not that second person point of view. So let's listen to your response one more time. I'll make some comments. According to me, studying with a group is more beneficial for an exam because... So you say, according to me, you don't even need to say that. Just say studying with a group is more effective when preparing for an exam. That's the best way to do that, right? When you study with a group of people. When I study with a group of people, not when you. Or you can say, when a student studies with a group of people. You could do it that way too. So either the first or the third person point of view works best here. They may have all, uh, they all may have some different understanding about one topic. When these uh, topics have been... No, what I would do is say, say, first of all, if students study with others in a group, they will gain a better understanding of the course material. So instead of stating facts, make an argument. Your purpose here is to make an argument and then find supporting detail for each assertion that you make. An assertion is a claim that you make. Maybe you like studying in a group for two reasons. Let's just call them reason one and reason two. So each time you introduce the reason, make sure that you frame that sentence more as an argument, not as a fact. You know, I discussed, then you... Then it leads to a better understanding among all of them. These better understandings help you get... No, no, no. You're, there's a couple of things going on with your delivery, which are, it's making it hard for me. So one is intonation. You're not varying your intonation enough. So that's a problem. You want to make sure that you vary it more than what you are. The second issue is certain kinds of words or sounds, for example, the T and the D consonant sounds, you need to pronounce those more distinctly and differently from each other. The T is a T, the D is a D. Now I know uh, when the T is in the middle of the word, we sometimes pronounce it kind of like a soft D, but when the T is at the beginning and at the end of the word, you want to pronounce it more clearly than what you're doing. Most schools. You don't want to say you get more scores. No, a student will get higher scores by studying in a group. 
that's the better way there. So higher is going to work better than more. That's not the right word in that situation. So that's a language use issue. Also, uh, while studying, if you have any doubt, you can clarify it with your group mate. You can give you a very... Now, if you bring up another, do you say, well, the second reason, or secondly, studying a group is also beneficial because it can clarify any doubts that the group members may have about the course material they're studying. And then you give an example to support that assertion. That gives you a more organized, more coherently organized type essay. Easy shortcut to solve that. It helps you out. But these benefits cannot be aware when you study alone. Okay, so like I said before, uh, I think my score is pretty accurate. My first impression is usually my best. Uh, is the most accurate. So 2.83 out of 4, 22 points out of 30 for the reasons I just discussed uh, in this video. Now one more thing. I have a TOEFL speaking boot camp course. I'm not going to waste a lot of time telling you about it, but I will send you, if you want to join it, I'm going to send you a PayPal invoice so that you can join the course if you want. I'm offering you a $30 discount today on that course. So instead of $130, you can join this course for $99 and you can start doing speaking practice every day. But before you join, remember my rule. You cannot send me more than 60 seconds of speaking or pronunciation practice on any given day. And I will listen to it. I listen to all the practice tests my students submit, but just don't burden me with too many submissions on a day-to-day -day basis. So one speaking, one pronunciation practice you can send each day. I will give you feedback just like this and I will help you. My job is to help you get higher than 26. Right now you got a lot of things you need to change about your delivery, maybe about your topic development, and I think that's going to help you to score higher. Alright?